Okay, we're back for round three. Um, okay, so I'm just going to play the creatures that grow the best and hope we can uh, survive long enough to use them. Um, the thing that we learned in this game, is, or in this draft so far, has been mostly that uh, it's maybe not worth trying to make a super cute deck. Like, we did all sorts of fun stuff, uh, movement creatures and all that, and it's really cool, but... Pardon me. I, I too often think that I did not take creatures that had good stats. I mean, Rifflasher is a 3-6, and that's not... That's what I built my deck around. It's kind of a problem. Okay. So the poison will negate the uh, armor. Um, I can play a Master of Elements and uh, Sonic Pulse to zero out all of my opponent's creatures. I kind of like the ether hounds are called ether hounds because it makes you think that they named the ether hounds. You know, you play one, but you get either one. <laughs> or, you know, you can attack either of them. But that's pretty bad. These are bad jokes. These are what you get on my channel. Um, okay, so Vault Technician levels up pretty well. So uh, we want to get that. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Um, So I think it's probably best to just focus down that Thunderstore. Um, I think I will play the Flamestoke Shaman so I can maybe use it to... Uh... Get uh, a creature in next turn. However, I'm going to... Battle here. And then I think I will just uh, lightning spark down the thunderstorm, just so that my opponent does not have a chance to do crazy hijinks like make it grow. Okay, so battle droid could be good. Um, again, our opponent is not playing uh, Necrium, so that makes it better. Um, battle droid and bruiser is actually pretty good because it makes the battle droid even harder to kill. So battle droid in front of Savant is currently looking pretty good. Um, munitions drone is also interesting. Uh, I could munitions drone, use flame stoke shaman to make it grow, and then, uh, or to give it haste, and then uh, go ahead and buff something, which is pretty cool. Okay, I think I will play Battle Droid over here. It seems like that's a pretty safe bet at the moment. Then I think I will use Bruiser on Battle Droid, like I mentioned. I could have put it on the Shaman, which maybe I should have just to keep it alive, but this gets in damage and makes my uh, Battle Droid harder to deal with. Got Stormcaller at least. Stormcaller's got a good level one body. And I can try and level something up for later.
in addition to being trying to be cute with this deck, uh, I also kind of mixed attack and defense too much, so I didn't do enough of either. <coughs> Which is definitely something to learn from as well. Uh, part of why I'm doing this is to learn. I definitely did better in my first couple of drafts, but hopefully I will get back there again. Okay, Stormcaller will eat beta while surviving, so that's definitely uh, appealing to me. We'll see what else we can do. Could put Jetpack on my battle droid just to continue building the most awesome creature I can manage. Uh, not always best, but some, that can definitely be fun. My opponent is taking his or her time. This is poison two? Yeah. Okay, because this is poisoned, that's not, I was going to say, certainly fine to just trade. Um, Okay, Stormcaller will eat that, like I said. Um, can't kill the Venom Fang without taking additional damage. I think I am going to just riff Lash and hope for the best, uh, which I'm doing all too often and it doesn't seem to be paying off very well. But Okay, so we got our sentries. That's, that's good. That's what our deck is wanting at this point. Um, the sentries seem like our best way to win. I could, uh... okay, so those will at least trade. I could consider Warbringing, Warbringer Euronteeing the uh, Rift Flasher to trade even. Sorry, not the Rift Flasher, the Stormcaller to trade evenly, but I think it's best just to uh, get both of my uh, sentries level up to three. Okay. Again, I keep drawing these hands that are lots of spells that I don't want to have together, which is maybe the problem with like jetpack decks and such. As uh, it takes an awful lot of spells to make them run, but the spells that make them run like are bad if you don't have creatures. So, especially creatures that are already out on the board. Reflasher would also be interesting if it was like a 2 7 or something that, or a 2 8 or something that had a little more survivability. It wouldn't, its ability wouldn't be as good for sure, but uh. Might be interesting. Okay, so I may actually electronet that beta. Um, keep my creature alive. That seems decent. And I'll go ahead and get a Colossus out in case of uh, Jetpack. <coughs> yeah. This time, this game I've been doing a little less uh, hijinkery with meta sites and uh, Jetpacks and such, so it's been going a little better for me. Um, but we'll see. I guess Flame Speaker levels up a little better than I thought, so uh, maybe it's worth more than. I haven't really messed around with it too much these games, obviously, or as you've seen. So, okay, do I have a good way to kill that? Not really. So I guess I'll just probably have to let it trade. Um, this, however, is fine for me. Okay. I think I'll flame speaker, and I think I will actually go ahead and uh, 
meta site just to use the flame speaker's ability because none of the rest of this is uh, really interesting at the moment. So War Charger and Mystic are probably the two best, the two creatures that level best. <coughs> so I will do my level best. Okay, and <laughs> level them up, and you should get them. Um, definitely can consider the jetpack for the Colossus, but having these level two creatures is probably just worth playing. Though jetpack would get through the flame speaker damage of two. Thankfully, again, the poison is negated entirely by the armor. It technically it does remove one of the armor every turn, more or less, because it deals one damage that counteracts that much of it. But okay, nothing that we can do about the sentry dying. My opponent will get to play an extra creature this turn, an extra level one if he or she has it. But whew. three poison headed toward the flame speaker. I thought that oh four poison. Okay, I thought that might happen. That's <coughs> fine. Okay. War Charger can eat this and survive. I think Mystic is probably my best bet here. Don't want to leave that Venom Fang unopposed. That bruiser's looking good. Yeah, the bruiser is definitely. Uh, I haven't used it too many times this draft, but it's done well for me. So that's something worth considering and remembering in the future. If my opponent plays a creature with uh, very little toughness, I can maybe finish it off. Okay, so, the Warbringer Yuranti will not quite uh, let the War Charger trade, um, nor will the Bruiser quite keep it alive. So I'm probably going to need to move that out of the way. The Storm Caller, however, handles this a little bit better once it has had the bruiser be a friend. <coughs> Despite getting all those spells earlier, or perhaps because of it, I don't have any to support my master. I'm sure I will still play it because of my best creature. Okay, this is a problem. Still not doing great this game. Okay, we've got a sentry that can kind of uh, maybe seen against these creatures. We'll see. So, there will be five damage on this, so it'll be down to uh, eight. So the sentry can at least trade with it. Um, oh, 12 damage would be required to kill it, so I can probably trade a shaman with it. That's nice. And a scout drone, that's not the most impressive thing here. <laughs> okay, so I can sentry in front of this to trade, probably. Um, yeah, like I said, this will trade with the beta. Um... Actually, wait, that's only a nine. Forget trading. What am I thinking? 
We have the more aggressive creature. Okay, this is deals nine. Okay, if we can get it done on our turn, it will have dealt 18 damage. So that's not enough, um, but that's a start. Okay, so if I play this after combat, the Thunderstorm will get in, and then this will let me deal damage on my next turn. Um, do I block the pilot? I think I have to. Unfortunately, this will only be 19 damage on that pilot. Okay, so the sentry will survive this turn and probably die next turn. should not change my math. That will change my math, though. Uh, strength in numbers has really done a number on me this uh, time around. So that kills those three creatures at least. Um, but I'm dead. Okay, so we want 03. Unfortunately, uh, while I had been going mostly 2 1 on my uh, drafts before recording, I'm not doing as well since. Uh, hopefully, we can turn it around and do a bit better next time. Thanks for watching.